To write the name for PbCO32, we first need to recognize this CO3 here. This is the carbonate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. And we have two carbonate ions. We also need to recognize that lead is a transition metal. Pb is lead. That's a transition metal. So we'll first write the name of the metal, Pb. That's lead. And then this carbonate, this is one that you need to remember, CO3. So we just write carbonate, lowercase c. So at this point, we have lead carbonate is the name for PbCO32. We said that lead's a transition metal. Because of that, we don't know the ionic charge on lead. This is an ionic compound because we have a metal and then these nonmetals here in the polyatomic ion. So we don't know the charge on lead, but we do know that the carbonate has a charge of 2 minus, and that's the whole ion has that 2 minus charge. And we have two of them. So 2 times 2 minus, that's 4 minus. This has to be 4 plus for it to balance have a net charge of 0. And we take this 4 plus here to show that lead has a 4 plus ionic charge in this case. We write IV, the Roman numeral for 4, between the lead carbonate, put it in parentheses. So this is the name for PbCO32 lead for carbonate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.